Okay, what's up everybody? Christopher Leon Johnson here. So, uh, it's 1028 right now. Um, so basically, what I'm doing here is uh, basically, uh, I'm in my press capacity. So I was like, all right, I'm heading up uptown to um, uptown to 13th and 2nd Avenue. So basically, uh, there's gonna be, what's that over there? Uh, basically, um, they canceled the rally for the city of Yes. Uh, I think it was held by uh, Crown Heights Tennis Union and uh, many other organizations. So they was going to do their rally about the city of Yes um, at the steps. But I found out from security, in my security detail. What's up, brother? What's up? They canceled the rally today. They canceled it. They can't. They canceled the rally for ten thirty. The ten thirty. They, they they canceled. I think they canceled it. Yeah, I don't know where everybody at. This is weird, I mean. But I gotta go uptown anyway, I'm gonna go uptown. Dad went 10 30, I don't know what happened, but uh but um There's gonna be a Oh they holding signs and shit. Oh they doing it here. They probably didn't do it. They, Alright, so forgive me if uh I think they did a switch rule, guys. Oh, shit. Stop harming kids. Stop harming kids. So what is this about? Stop harming kids. 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 I'm just going to get some some bases here so we know. Vive la freak! 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 Stop harming children, housing children with adults. There could be no Kinnear revelation of a society soul in the so, way of uh, treating children. So what this is about, by the way? There's that council hearing today. Oh, with uh, welfare? General, yes, general welfare? General yeah. welfare, right? No, that you... Youth. Oh, okay, cool. So the youth crowd. That's what I said. Yeah, so. Um, basically, I'm supposed to be for the City of Yes rally, but it's not happening today, so. I think they canceled it. I don't know what's going on. You need to go by the microphone, guys. So. You need to go all the way by the microphone. Talk loud, please. Right over here. So, yeah, at the end of the day. Uh, yeah. So. Go for it. I guess we the, the youth is ran by um, Alita Stevens. So basically, youth oversees ACS, uh, mainly ACS. They oversee ACS. So if you have an ACS issue, uh, over go to the youth committee. But uh, I tell people this in a nutshell, and I make this clear to a lot of people that uh, I don't like to cover, I don't like to cover um, youth stuff and anything related to like family court or ACS type shit because um, and I told this guy before. I said, look. I don't know who people are. I don't know them. That's not my, not my family. So I'm not, I don't know what the situations are. So I'm not gonna risk my safety and my reputation because it creates a lot of problems. And let's make that clear. Uh, I have a press pass. Uh, I have a press pass, right? So you have a New York City press pass. Uh, I wear this, right? It's my thing right here. And, and what I tell people is like, there was this case with Roman Brick. Uh, he had a press pass. And uh, I don't, like I said, people uh, tendencies is to go with the judges, right? All right, you attack the judges. 
But the, like I said before, the other video, the judges are so connected. Judges are so connected. Um, they know each other and they have a lot of people with mom and they have a lot of people with these agencies. If they fought, if they say something, you're fucked. But lawyers are connected, so let's keep that real. Um, but uh, as I mentioned before, like I said, I don't touch them unless it's my family because it's not worth the risk. Really not worth the risk. So let's make that clear. I'll tell you when. I'll tell you when. Okay. Uh, hold on one second. One second. One second. One second. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. 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 My name is Mamadou. I'm from Guinea. I'm 19 years old. It's almost a year since I've been here. I had applied for asylum when I heard about the special status called SIG, but it was too late. I had already applied. I, am, I don't have access to a lawyer. I don't have access to a guardian. And me and a lot of my friends are in this situation where we don't know what services we are entitled to. I 
would like to apply for SAGE, but without a lawyer, without any legal assistance, without a guardian, I'm not able to apply. And it's through the mutual aid networks that I've been able to even find out what it is in the first place. Hello. What's your organization name? Mm -hmm. These are mutual aid networks. Uh, yeah. But I am able to be in school uh, Monday through Friday. But I'm uh, very worried about my. Yeah, I just uh, hope you'll see your yes rally. As a minor. Okay, yeah. see yes rally in the day to cancel it because of the state. So I was like, all right. Uh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Who are you with? Independent media, Christopher Williams okay. Johnson. Yeah, we represent. Up in the 
My next hearing is in February 2025, and so I have a very short amount of time to find representation and get my situation sorted out. So I, I would like for uh, the city to provide help and support so that I have access to SIDGE and I'm able to uh, have the legal status that I'm entitled to as a minor. So even right now, I'm, I'm very stressed and uh, it's causing me a lot of anguish to be in this situation right now because it's so precarious. Okay, go ahead. to the shelter at Hull Street, but I'm currently enrolled in school in the Bronx, and so I'm sleeping on the floor of a mosque so that I can still continue my studies because Hull Street is in Brooklyn, and I would have no way to get to school every day. I've 
filed for asylum, but I currently don't have a lawyer. Our, our last one before the hearing. 
One second. Okay, go ahead. My name is Mamadou. I'm from Guinea. I'm 19 years old and I arrived in November 2023. So right now I'm in a shelter uh, of Lexington, that's an adult shelter. I'm enrolled in school in Brooklyn, but uh, it's impossible to study, it's very crowded. Um, it's all ages, uh, it's very loud, it's uh, very chaotic, and it's impossible to study to keep up with the homework. Press release with us? What? Yeah, press release with us or no? A press release? Yeah. I yeah. yeah. no peace in the shelters, it's crowded, it's loud, uh, and we really need help and we need support, and uh, in order for us to keep studying and stay enrolled, uh, the circumstances are really, really difficult and uh, it's causing a lot of stress. I was able to find a lawyer for uh, my SIG application and I spent every Saturday and Sunday uh, collecting cans uh, to get a little bit of money to be able to pay them whatever I can. and talk about this as far as you know what the situation but the overview yeah 
Yeah. Is anybody going to frame it? Or you could you could have more than one person. I just okay. you guys yeah. can all talk. Yeah. Um, okay. And hold on one second. You're going to start. Yeah. Okay. Can we just, like, A lot of bravery and a lot of courage. Okay, so so I'll, I'll tell you. Okay, and uh, so now your name, please. Your your involvement in this process. Sure. My name Project. is Megan Demarcus. I'm a Spell it. M E G A N D E M A R K I S. Okay, and, and you're. I'm you're, a graduate student at the Silverman School of Social Work, Hunter College. I've been working with immigrant communities for 25 years in New York City. And. And you are offering your services to them as far yeah. as counseling, is that right? Yep. So can well, you say that? Just what's your involvement? Sure. Right now I'm here from a policy perspective and I want to make sure that it is clear to our young people and to all of the advocates and all New Yorkers that education is a right in New York City until the age of 21 regardless of immigration status, regardless of class, regardless of race. This is a protected right until age 21. Beyond age 21, there's a beautiful education system called District 79 that's part of the public education system that does GED preparation, vocational training, ESL classes, and that's available from age 21 until age 85. So it's really important that New Yorkers understand that they have a right to education, that young people have a right to education until age 21. These young people, their rights have been violated by the city of New York. In addition, young people have the federally protected right to be housed in city shelters for young people. They're not supposed to be housed with adults. It's a violation of a federal right. And the mayor has violated both the right to education and the right to fair and appropriate housing for young people. And the reason why he's done this because he took billions of dollars in federal aid and he gave it to private companies who delivered subpar services um, and dangerous services for young people. So we need to um, basically make New York do what it's meant to do. This is a city of that's incredibly well resourced. We've got the best people, we've got the best ideas, we've got the most compassion. We've got to get a corrupt mayor out of the way so that we can deliver to young people what they deserve. They're full of promise, they're full of hope, we've heard it here today, and we've got to make good on those promises. So, um, as far as the federal uh, statute of housing, yep. and uh, does that include housing regardless of status? That's correct. Okay, so um, whether you're here legally, illegally, uh, seeking asylum. So really important, ahead, nobody's actually here illegally. Everybody okay, so just clarify, yeah. clarify yep, that absolutely. for me, Absolutely. Everybody here who's applying for SIG status, which is special immigration juvenile status, a protected is it, status, okay, or re, re, asylum. Re, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. Repeat what the SID status is, please. Okay, so that is, let me make sure I've got this right, special immigration juvenile status. And that's what these uh, uh, young people are looking for right now, yes, right? That's okay. Correct. So, if you could clarify the federal law, what it includes, doesn't include, and why they are entitled to these services, please. Okay. So, the federal law under McKinney Vento, they are um, they are guaranteed the right to fair and appropriate housing for young people. People under the age of 21 should not be housed in a congregate adult shelter where they don't have access to privacy, where they don't have access to a quiet place to study, where they're not safe, quite frankly. And, and none of these uh, 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 people that spoke today, you want to clarify that no one is here uh, illegally. C explain their status and what they're seeking specifically. Right. So um, when you cross the border into this country, you go through a process and you are given some kind of a status. You're on parole. You're given. There's different kinds of ways that you can legally obtain citizenship, but nobody's actually here illegally. They've got documentation. They're on the path to citizenship, and we're obligated, morally obligated, to help them. Do they have a right to this, uh, to these legal uh, avenues, um, and are these legal avenues uh, free to them? Yes, and yes. So, but they're not getting access to that because they're in shelters where they're not provided appropriate counseling. They don't have access to social workers. So they're relying on mutual aid networks, which is just a network of volunteers from across the city who, who care. Okay, so. The one gentleman said that he was collecting bottles and cans to pay for his lawyer. Does that mean he's got a private lawyer? That's what that probably means, yes. There, so, are, there, are, there is access to pro bono representation in the city, okay. but there is a long, long waiting list. So, so, so we, we've covered the, the housing. Education, is that a city statute? Yes, that is a city statute. So no matter what, does that 
does that depend on status? No, it does not. You are a child, you are underage, you get an education. Absolutely. So where is the failing? It, it, now, you said that they have rights to this. Is the failing of this happening in access, lack of, of, of uh, people to help them with access? You're stepping in to fill a void, I see. Yeah. Am I correct? That's correct. So where is the void? What is the void? What is happening? Well, first of all, the void is in the fact that children are being housed in adult shelters where they don't have access to social workers. They don't have access to education and youth development trained counselors who can help them enroll in appropriate schools. Are, are those generally in youth uh, shelters? Are those generally there more times than not in more youth shelters? More times than not, inconsistently also, but in adult shelters, absolutely no access. So they have really no chance in That's the adult correct. shelter. Yep. So you're here today advocating for them to get the proper services but are we also talking about them getting moved into the proper shelters yes absolutely so youth shelters they need they need to have a space in a youth shelter if there aren't youth shelters they need to be created so that they have the appropriate services they have privacy they have safety they have the ability to be on a path towards study and learning professional skills which is why they're here and set it themselves and how the, how can that happen what is what is your thoughts being in this, you know, in this, in this situation of helping out and, and, and being, this is part of what you do. How, how can that happen? What can the city do? What can the yeah. mayor do? Well, what can the mayor do? Well, first of all, it's not debatable that we have a we have a, a problem with our mayor, right? We have someone who's been indicted, who is corrupt, who has misused funds, mishandled funds, and a large set of the funds that he has mishandled have been um, slated for welcoming newcomers and providing them with appropriate services. We gave all that funding to private companies who squandered um, the funding, quite honestly, and delivered very subpar services, rotting food, um, no access to medical care, no access to social workers, um, prevented them from entering school uh, many times. So this is this is what we're looking at. So, so moving forward, what are you looking to happen to help these young people out? Um, well, first of all, we need we need reliable leadership within the city. There are certain leaders within the city who do stand for the rights of immigrants. Um, we've heard from Brad Lander, we've heard from Jumani Williams, we've heard from other other leaders who have plans and have an idea of what happened to this funding and how it could have been spent more appropriately. We need a do-over. Okay, so so the funding is mis misspent. What can be done today, tomorrow? What can the city council do in this meeting? What are you looking? What action are you looking for? That's an excellent question. For one, we need to move children who are placed in adult shelters out of adult shelters into youth shelters. We need to make sure that social workers who have trauma-informed training are deployed to youth shelters who can help um, young people get access to services and get enrolled in schools. Once children are in school, they have access to more resources and people who care and understand how to work with young people. The International High Schools Network throughout this city is a wonderful place. There's a new one opening in Queens. We can make sure our young people who are newcomers have access to the best quality education, the best quality counseling, not the worst. And that's what we've handed them. And that's the city's job. That's the city council's job. And that's what you want to see happen. Is that that's correct? That's what I want to see happen. I want to see city council um, put the pressure on releasing funds so that they can make this possible. And one more question, uh, how you feel about, like, there's a few council members like Vicky Balladino and um, Joanne Ariola and Bob Holden, they're in the way of this, how you feel about that? Like, they're, they're the main me members that speak against this stuff. Yeah, I think they need to get out of the way. This is the will of the people. It's been demonstrated more uh, more times than not. If they don't stand for this, what do they stand for? If they don't stand for protecting the most vulnerable in our society and, and helping children uh, on a path towards success, what do they stand for? Who are they beholden to? It's not to the people. Yeah. Anything Thank else you'd like to add? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No, you go, you go. Anything else you'd like to add? Yeah. Okay. Hearing is starting. Yeah, 11 o'clock. Okay. Start around. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck, bro. There's a rally happening. Thank you. Good luck, bro. There's a rally happening on 13th to 2nd. Oh, all right. You staying here for that? Or what? Oh, 13th. What time is that? Right now. Oh. 13th Avenue and 13th Street and 2nd Avenue. Oh, nice. I rally. I'm going there now, bro. I'm going there now if you want to oh. come with me. Yeah. So. Yeah, I just had a cover of this. Like, uh, basically, it's a migrant crisis rally. Um, you heard it there. 13th, 13th Avenue and 2nd Street. 13th, no, 13th Street and 2nd Avenue. Yeah, headed in now. So, that's uh, AM Goodridge right there. AM Goodridge. Oh. So, yeah, they had a city yesterday at 10.30, but they canceled it. Uh, but keep it real about the city of yes, guys. Um, 
Uh, the hearing is on the 22nd, right? The hearing for the city, yes, is on the 22nd of October. Um, it's on the 22nd of October, guys. Uh, 21st, there's a rally about Prop 1. Uh, there's a ra there's going to be the first day of speak first day of hearings about the city, yes, on the 21st. Um, the 21st, um, the 21st with the administration, then the second day is the public. But I'll make this clear, right? Uh, I'm, against, I'm against Koi. I was here for Koi, but they canceled the rally. You see, they had it for 10 30, but they canceled it. I'm against Koi, right? But his day, you can do as many. The people that are against City Yes can do as many rallies they want. It's, it's, it's hell week because this week there's a lot of rallies all over the city uh, opposing City Yes at city, certain places, including the minority leader, the majority leader, uh, Amanda Farias, uh, her office in the Bronx very this week, later on this week. But I make this clear to a lot of people, right? I'm speaking on the 22nd of October. I'm speaking on that day. I'm speaking, right? You can have as many rallies as you can, uh, many rallies as you want about City Yes being against it. But if you don't be at that day and speak against the City Yes, it don't mean shit. It don't mean anything at all. Because uh, it don't mean anything at all because um, uh, uh, Open New York for All, Trans All, and make open plans are going to send their people out there that's testified for the, for the plan. They're going to do, like I said, they're lobbyists. So what are they going to do? They're going to pay people off. They're going to clothe them. They're going to feed them. They're going to befriend them. They're going to do whatever they got to do to, to get this through. So um, I tell people this, right? Uh, people got to speak against this plan. And like I said, you could have as many rallies you, you can have, many rallies you can have, but if you don't, if many rallies you want, but if you don't, um, let me say, now I got to head to this thing cover for a second and get out. I got to see Raul later on. He has to do something. But yeah, um, uh, yeah, you can have as many rallies you, you have about Koi, but if you don't speak on that day on the 22nd, it don't mean shit because city, uh, Open plans and all those organizations, they're going to have their troops out there. They're going to have their troops. This card in. At the end of the day, it's um, so trains come in three, leave in three minutes. We'll go this shit. I'll leave in two minutes now. It's good. So yeah, like I said, guys, like I said, you could you could speak against the city, yes, all you want, but um, uh, have rallies and shit like that. And I I, I agree with the rallies. We, uh, there's gonna be one tomorrow on the 16th. They got four o'clock at uh, Mill Basin, so like that. But uh, I feel more avid. I think about Case Plaza. But um, but like I said, guys, I tell people this: like, yo, you could we could test about all you want against Koi, but if um, you could rally all you want. And get the media out there all you want, and those re the rallies get a lot of people out there, including Paul Graziano. Uh, I don't, I don't really rock with Paul like that. I think Paul, I think Paul Graziano is really, is really, is really weird. Uh, I don't fuck with him like that, but I think he's really, it's something off by him. But that's my opinion. But um, I make this clear that uh, look, you can have as many rallies you want against the city of yes, but the city of yes, but uh, if you don't testify on the twenty twenty second, it don't mean shit. It don't mean anything. And that's what they, that's why they laugh. Like, uh, the, the Yimbies laugh because they know, like, these people rally, these people cry, but they don't speak at the, they don't speak at the hearings. You know what I mean? People don't get that shit. People don't understand that. And I'm sorry. I mean, it's the truth. But well, I'm headed to uh, 14th Street right now. A little backed up, but, I mean, cover something, right? So, I'm about to go. And take care. Later.